There's a secret world in Diablo 2, and knowing how to navigate it could make you rich. The barren realm of classic mode is not only refreshing, it's how some players make thousands of forum gold. But how good is Classic D2 really, and what are these players doing to break it? <laughs> Classic mode is a pseudo nod to how the game used to be, and presents a plethora of its own unique challenges. You think ladder leveling to 99 is tedious on expansion? It's borderline impossible on classic. In fact, at the recording of this video, nobody has ever reached level 99 on classic within a ladder season. It's a bit of a final frontier if you're up for the challenge. But good f***ing luck. Expansion players are used to leveling up in terror zones or level 85 areas, but there are none of those in Classic D2. Not even Chaos Sanctuary is level 85, and that's the final level of the game. There are no runes, no charms, no jewels, hell, there aren't even any elite items in this game mode. We have to make the best out of rares, a short list of uniques, and some simple set items. But aside from the daunting challenges in this game mode, there's some big benefits to playing in it. Let's start by explaining one that could make you filthy rich. Remember when we challenged Master Otis to see who could make 10,000 forum gold the fastest on ladder reset? It took us about three days and a metric ass ton of luck. And while I did win the challenge among the two of us, there was someone else in our playgroup who made both of us look like amateurs. Vamp the Champ made 12,000 forum gold doing sea rush services on the first day of ladder reset. A lot of players in a ladder reset want to quickly rush another character through hell difficulty. The typical way to do this is to have a bumper do your bail quest. But if you know how to rush players on classic, you don't need a bumper. As long as you have a classic character that can at least beat Duriel in Act 2, you can rush the five classic characters all the way through to Hell difficulty by yourself, no bumper needed. While this service seems simple, people have made a fortune doing it. But if you're going to be one of those people, you got to know what you're doing. When I mentioned how difficult this game mode was, I kind of left something out. There are no tokens in Classic D2. The only way to respec your character is with the Den of Evil quest, which you can only do once per difficulty. So if you botch your build a couple of times while trying to figure it out, you're screwed. But don't worry, I've put together the best possible build that you can run in Classic for this, and I've min-maxed it for D2R. In the expansion, hybrid sorceresses are a waste of time. Infinity and Sunder Charms render them completely obsolete, but Rune Words and Charms don't exist in Classic. So this is truly where a hybrid sorceress belongs, and oh does she shine. Veteran D2 players are familiar with how powerful Blizzard is, but the big debate is which skill to splash on a hybrid cold sorceress. The answer is Hydra. Hydra does the most amount of significant damage to monsters with the least amount of skill points invested. It doesn't require you to be up close and personal trying to take down immune boss mobs with your weakest skill. Oh, and Static. In classic mode, this skill is not capped. You can reduce any monster's life total in any difficulty to one. Extremely important for playthroughs and certainly for budget builds. And while this is the best build to make bank on sea rush services, sea rushing isn't the only way to make massive profit on classic. Certain items are worth way more than they are in expansion. And while I show you what they are, I'll also show you some things that you might not want to miss on G2A. The site where you can buy game keys and gift cards for massive discounts. The Stone of Jordan is the holy grail item of classic. Not only is this powerful on nearly every build, the SOJ cube formula is the only way to add sockets to a rare item. Even a non-ladder SOJ is worth the equivalent of 12 jaw runes on expansion. And if you like generating value like this, keep your eye on G2A. I just want to point this out. When you see it, you see it.
just know this kind of thing happens a lot on here and sometimes way steeper than this. Itemization is a lot different in Classic too. Some of the undesirable attributes on things like rings, amulets, and boots simply can't spawn, making finds like this far more common. And once you realize that you can also sell these items on expansion by converting a mule, it's then that you realize the value of this secret multi-market. There's also a console multi-market market going on on G2A right now. Remember how I said this shit happens all the time on here? I wasn't kidding. It's just straight value. Tons of different platforms are doing this on there right now. Favorite this site and check it before buying anything like this. Help support the channel and check them out with my link below. Because rune words and most of the good uniques don't exist, the price of five to six point rares is insane. Most big bot websites don't even touch classic, so this market is wide open right now. But how can we find these high value items consistently? Well, just build a barbarian. In classic, this class is completely broken. Let's start with the skill Whirlwind. Instead of attempting to hit a target every few frames based on your attack speed, Whirlwind attempts to hit a target on every frame in Classic. I can't even begin to describe how powerful this is, and unfortunately the expansion did away with it. And remember how rares are some of the best in slot items here? The find item skill is also pretty busted with that in mind. There's some serious diminishing returns when stacking up magic find, but with rares, your magic find goes a lot further especially when you do the infinite magic find easter egg, which yes, still works in classic. As long as your barb sees the ritual happen, he'll be horking bodies with unreasonably good chances of finding these rares. Furthermore, since plus two to skills amulets are big ticket items, a gold find barb is an obvious choice to target them. As long as your barb is at least level 86, you can start to gamble things like this from a vendor. And if you did, you could afford all of the digital items your heart desires. But if peddling forum gold isn't your thing, you could be the first to do something else. You could technically complete a holy grail challenge way faster in classic than anyone ever has on expansion. There's far less items to find. That's just science. As a man of science, you know, and as a firm believer in the scientific method, Screw science. But there's no way that anyone with any sort of integrity would grind classic just to complete a holy grail list faster than it's ever been done. What is the fastest time, by the way? Yes! Let's fucking go! Well, someone's gotta try it. For science! Lament. Amazing dude, 388 MF in classic, baby. MF is not a fucking joke in this game. And if anybody says otherwise, you're wrong. Oh my God, and a, and a, a unique ring off of him. Come on, baby. Okay, so I, I couldn't find the SOJ, all right? But I've still got hundreds of hours to go. You're safe for now, Inferno. I've linked the most impressive classic builds below and will continue to update them. So if you're interested, make sure to keep checking back for more. And subscribe if you like this kind of video so I know to make more like it.